This is gonna be fucking awesome. <laughs> Tell him, Steve, Dave. This is, um, we come to meet her. We come to know her as Tina. She wouldn't give her last name, so we called her Tina X. And she had an outside booth and an indoor booth. Right. Uh, we're here with Tina at the Collingswood Auction. And you're, do you want to give the name of your business? Not really. Okay. She doesn't want the free advertising. No. But is Tina your real name? We're, you know, we'll, we'll call you um, Tina X. That way no one will know who you are. Okay, that's better. That's my last name. <laughs> that always helps. Um, your business is, uh, you want to describe it? Uh, it's mainly gifts and cell phone accessories. It's mixed with a bunch of stuff like wigs also, perfumes and oils and incense. Wig, wigs being thrown in there? That, that's interesting to me. Because you didn't describe it that way when we didn't have the uh, recorder on it. You well, said it was... The wigs. We have the wigs indoors, but we don't have the wigs outside. Okay. So it would just get dusty. Gotcha. Now, why don't you want to give your business name? Or uh, you said earlier you didn't want to be on video. I'm my mother, so I kind of don't want to give her the business. Is that wrong? You don't like her? Uh, this this is a whole separate podcast, then, I think. <laughs> Tina and her troubles with mom. This was, uh, with Tina, this was the first mention, but certainly not the last of her, not this taste, but I mean, I thought it seemed to me bordering on hatred of her mother. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't interest me. Really? You didn't, you didn't care? Well, like that you would, that she would tell perfect strangers with a tape recorder <laughs> how much she couldn't stand her mother. Did you did over you and over? Q or did you did you need Brian to tell you to pick up now, or did you pick up? No, Brian? no, no. I picked up on that. Yeah, I, 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 I on thought it was mentioned. odd later too when you see how close they work together. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, this must be unbearable. <laughs> Didn't her mother yell at me or snap at me? Did she? Well, she told you. I, 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 I didn't see that. I don't think she snapped at you. Nah, we'll see. I don't like a mother either. I'm with, I'm with her on this. Could have been, that might have been your future mother-in-law to where things w almost went down. <laughs> right, yeah, it was looking good for you towards the end, but you fucked it up with that pen situation. <laughs> no, I thought I was getting her on my side by pissing off the mom. She'd be like, oh, this is... This but is... they're a very you fucking... Gotta win, you got to win over to parents of a traditional Yeah, Chinese that's family. what I'm doing wrong. The bride is, is, a, is a minor hurdle, yeah. yeah. sequential in the whole, in the whole Yeah, that mom was Mount things. Everest, and especially when you show up, it sounds like you're not even speaking English. She doesn't... <laughs> She doesn't know what the fuck you're speaking. <laughs> Borrowing right. pens already. Okay. She um, knows your trouble. And, you're, and you would be, you know, if things worked out for you, you'd become the heir to the... Uh, That's right. To the, what to the lucky bamboo fortune or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> you need a wig, I'll get you a fucking Could wig. Could you imagine <laughs> Quinn? Like, he quits the fire department and works for the next 40 years. <laughs> He's selling doilies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I would love it. <laughs> uh, I would not. <laughs> I've been here for, I want to say, 13 years already. Wow, and you're pretty young. And you said you were going I'm to school 40. still. Yeah. Okay, what are you going to school for? Video arts technology. You, is, this, you, is this the only flea market you do? Uh, we used to do Columbus and English Town also. Out of nowhere, this is when we, we eventually figured out that Tina X was kind of sassy. Because you just heard her say that she was 40. And right away I was like, holy shit, this girl looks good for her age. I mean, her, her mom looked like she was 140. Her mom looked old. <laughs> she looked pretty ancient, like it was her grandma. She could have said she was 12 or 30, and I would have, you know, <laughs> anywhere between here I would have believed it. But I, would, I, don't, I kind of was like, wow, she's 40? This is the this is the where the mold, where the bread is made though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where the hay is is what's it called? Hay, hay is made. Hay, hay is made, made here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's throw out a couple more metaphors that are unnecessary. <laughs> um. <laughs> that is the first of many mentions of of hay. Now, <laughs> when you said uh, this is where the hay is made, you were referring to money. Yeah, I just wanted to try to talk their lingo. What makes you think that that? Because I've never heard money <laughs> referred to as hay, and I think I accidentally well, said. Somebody like, finished my sentence because I couldn't even spit it out right. There was a UQ. Yeah, and I yeah. Finished yeah. It, so I've heard, heard that. Before. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> how illiterate are you if he's finishing your sentences? <laughs> Yo, that's how hay is made. Yeah, shit. Oh. <laughs> Oh, shit, it's my turn in the barrel? Oh, I, didn't, I thought we were on the Collinswood High. I thought, well, the Where's fuck? the pitchfork where you load all your hay? Okay. Huh? Oh! Okay. Tina X! <laughs> uh, you, you thought that the lingo 
that these flea marketers use that hay could be. I don't want them to look at me like um, like I'm an outsider because in, in a lot of ways I feel like I can identify with some of them. Not with the, not with the, they have a lot more hardships than I do. <laughs> I re- selling you know selling merchandise. It's almost the same thing. I just sell it in a, in a brick and mortar store there outside in a at a flea market. I would agree with that, but do you ever call money hay when you're here? Uh, sometimes, yeah. You like to who? Mike. Is Mike here right now? Yeah. Hey, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if I were to say, whoa, we made some decent hay today, what would hay stand for? I'm going to assume money, but uh, I figure knowing you, probably sex. Uh, so you would figure knowing me, probably sex, but knowing Walt, you would say probably money? Yeah. Proven right. Mike and Walt, uh, when they ask you for the hay, uh, <laughs> when you come to the counter, they actually mean money. And if like I, I happen said, to be at the counter, I was trying to talk. I, li- I was trying to talk in that kind of like simple, like um, old world kind of way. But do you feel like at this point you were still a little bit arrogant, as far as? Like, yeah, yeah. But I was trying to talk down to the to the be a commoner. You'd be like, I'll be on their level. <laughs> yeah, I won't exactly. expect them to rise to mine. <laughs> No, really, I just thought, like, that was an old-fashioned kind of term, and we're dealing with kind of an old-fashioned world there. It's definitely a snapshot from another time. Yeah. And I, I mean, w- they may have current products, like cell phone cases and all this other shit, but the look and the, the mentality is is very similar to decades earlier. Yeah, and I'm just, you know, I was trying to get us in, make them feel comfortable with us so they would open up, stick into something, a microphone in their face. Some of them might not have even seen a microphone that looked like that before. <laughs> It was actually a digital tape recorder. <laughs> so you do belong in that old world. Even you don't know what the fuck it was. <laughs> Inside, Tina X's booth is, is pretty uh, It's pretty impressive. There's a, There's a lot of different stuff. A it's lot not, of merchandise in here. Do the inside, see, I come from a town where like, I lived uptown, and we always looked kind of down at the people that lived at the bottom of the hill, the downtowners, okay. the peasants, okay. like the untouchables. When you have your booth inside and it looks this good, do you have that sort of attitude towards the uh, Collingswood outdoor guys? She can't. She has a table outside as well. I thought that was kind of a dopey question. We, not two seconds earlier, we were outside with her at her table, and then you ask her about, you know, if she looks down at the people outside, and you knew her dad was manning a table outside. That's nice of you to point out my stupidity. Like, <laughs> hold on, hold on, pause that. I have some insightful uh, comments I want to make. Wow, you're fucking dumb. <laughs> it was well worth it. <laughs> I didn't mean it in a bad way, but it was like, what, like, what were you thinking, though? You knew you were just outside. With Dude, I'm, I'm vamping here. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to think up questions on the fly. I'm fucking cub reporter here. Trying to. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Look, I know, like, we're going to take away your press credentials, dude. <laughs> Let's just keep going. <laughs> I thought that was strange, because it wasn't like a half hour later. We just walked in in the air out from the blistering sun, and you knew that we were I was just... probably on the verge of heat stroke. I'm fucking 500 pounds. I'm sweating all over the place. We can, let's cut it out, then. Cut that out, then. No way. That stays. <laughs> How much does an average wig go for? 19 to 29. And like, how much? Oh, that's it. Wow. That's I can talk that, more. If that you does like. sound reasonable. I find that your questions are much different from mine or, you know, <laughs> the, the few that Quinn asks. It's like everything that you ask is business oriented. What's your best seller? What are your best days? How much hay do you make? You know? <laughs> because I'm looking at it from the eye on the other side of the counter. I'm thinking like they think. And if I could take a few of their ideas, some wigs, something I can I can maybe <laughs> branch out into Jay and Silent Bob's. <laughs> I would love to see a fucking wig in this store that you're trying. I mean, I wouldn't put a past you. I'm looking but... to see what 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 might cross over, have that crossover appeal here. Mm-hmm. And you're, I don't know, I don't know what you were asking her. You were asking her. Yeah, I, I, I come more from the angle of uh, not even consumer. Yeah, what, what, you know, what I don't your know what angle I'm coming from. I'm just like, so So who does everyone make fun of here? <laughs> but yeah, truly, like I find when I li- went back and listened to this over and over, the, the questions you ask are like, what are your best? It's a very focused, a laser-focused, mercantile kind of view that you take. Yeah, but they might not be the most interesting questions. Oh, that's where... 
Like, we should have probably planned our questions a little bit better. We should have planned anything, you know, <laughs> aside from, hey, let's go to the auction. <laughs> but I don't but know. You know. So that, far, it turns out well. But then you fly off the cuff, though. There's mm-hmm. something to be said for that energy of being spontaneous. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Rather We're going to go with it. Rather, yeah. than, rather than admit our fucking... We shabbily planned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. What's your best seller? Well, we just started with the oils and incense. Uh, 13 years ago, we started with doilies and Chinese plates and bowls. Doilies being like something you put underneath the plate? Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, we, we've just found out that you know what a doily is, but you don't know what a blazer is. And you didn't have to write Tina X a fucking fiery all cap email to fucking figure it out either. I was, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I was very, um, to hear that you sell doilies and there's a market for doilies. It just kind of really blew me away a little bit. She's, she doesn't even sell doilies anymore. Okay, the fact that you once started a business based on selling Based on doilies? doilies? Yeah. What, I mean, that would be nightmarish. To like, <laughs> like, I, like selling comics. That's your least, stock. Yeah. <laughs> How pitiful and boring is that existence? Or you're just like, you got to go through the, the, the monthly catalog of, of new doilies that are being made. Right, like the doily previews. <laughs> <laughs> you guys weren't, you guys weren't like taken aback by the, like doilies? I, I didn't think of it in those terms. Like, oh my God, you ever sold doilies? But it was one of those things where I'm like, my grandmother had doilies. I remember that, but... When did the doily market start? Like, when did it peak and then start to decline where people are like, I don't want to <laughs> If you quit Q, yet, Q you're, uh, you're, you're sent on a mission and your girlfriend's like, I need, we need a doily. Right. Where do you go? I, I, I'm not Tina anymore, I guess. Where would you even begin to look? <laughs> Do, doily.com, I guess, is, would be my first guess. No, she needs them now on the court. Uh, you can't fucking order them. Me? <laughs> Run out to the store and get me a doily. Hurry up. Uh, yeah. 13th uh, Avenue in Brooklyn. Well, let's say, uh, let's say, where's your favorite doily store? <laughs> Go, Brian! <laughs> How many wigs could do you sell, what's though? That, what's that? Do you sell Merkins? It's best seller. <laughs> Merkins? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Now he's being filthy. Like, Ira, Ira would sell a Merkin. I'm the more professional I'm one. Scared it's now. not hair. It's a yeah, hair product. Scared. Yeah. No? Smack him. Smack him, Tina. No, I already did. I already did him. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, you were the savior because you got it rolling again, this interview with your Merkin question. Yeah, everybody know what a Merkin is? Q? Um, I, I don't know. I didn't know what a Merkin was. Before I asked that question? Yeah. Yeah. Who told you what American was? No one. I still don't know what American was. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Right? A, a pubic hair wig, right? Yeah. Uh, you seem not blown away by that. Uh, I think I've heard of something like Who that. Who would wear know. such a thing? Um, Who would need to wear such a thing? Well, let's say you have like alopecia or something. What's that? Uh, like you're totally hairless, like you don't even have eyebrows and shit. Like, like it's I a, doubt the Merkin's going to be the be the, the thing that gets you. In addition to other, like maybe you have a wig and you oh, okay, have okay. a Merkin. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you actually wear it around. Okay, so Q, so you can learn as well as everyone out there. In case you don't know, uh, I'm reading this off the internet. The Merkin, or pubic hair wig, is dated back to 1450. Women would shave their pubic hair and wear a merkin to combat pubic lice, and prostitutes would wear them to cover up signs of disease, such as syphilis. Whoa. (laughs) I thought it was a male thing. That sounds like not that much fun. Uh, The term is also applied to decorative, typically sequined patches sold in sets with nipple tassels or pasties, which are enjoying new popularity as a costume of new burlesque adult entertainment. The first half of that history makes sense to me. Where it's like you don't want pubic lice, so you just get this washable merkin. The second half is kind of it's kind of insidious, like because you're really sick and you're going to pass it on to somebody, but you cover it up with this yeah, in the 14th century, camouflage. Nobody cared about that, though. They didn't care about lying. Nope. Today, though, merkin would not be acceptable for those reasons. I should get a face merkin. I could trick so many <laughs> fucking girls into hooking up with me. <laughs> uh, Brad Pitt face merkin. Yeah. Back to Teen X. Uh, yeah, I was still reading about Merkins. I'm starting to get hard. <laughs> I mean, in the end, no, Tina did not sell Merkins, nor did she know what one was. <laughs> All right. Good We're question, talking. though, Walt. It was nice to see you deviate from uh, what's your best day and well, I, how I, much I hate felt, can you make. Yeah, I felt the, um, it, was, it, was, it was sinking there. The, the interview yeah. energy was dropping, and yeah. You, yeah, you got it right back up. I don't, to know, like about, fucking, I don't know about that, but... Like red level. I was ready. To, I was ready to move on though from Tina, but then Q started to be, um, yeah with little, the charm. A little bit of charm came in and mm-hmm. picked it, it right back up. Thank you. Thanks, Will. 
What's up? If you had to make out with Tay Diggs or the guy from Staten Island, who do you go for? Tay Diggs. He's like a male model. A black, he's like the best. He's the best looking black male model out there. He's widely considered the best looking black guy in the world. Like he's the go to guy. Or are you considered the. What? But like, aren't you the white? The white equivalent of Tay Diggs? Make, make no mistake, I'm better looking than Tay Diggs. This is, Tina might not think so. That's all right. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. Sorry, Quinn. I'm on floor with you. It's not happening. Interviewing me. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, well, we could shut this off and uh, see where it goes. I have a boyfriend. Oh. Yeah. Right. I have a boyfriend. You said you were, you were 40 outside. That's not really true, is it? I'm 23. I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, oh, you are. She is a I, ball buster. I was like, I was like that girl looks like she's like 18. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were like 18. I was like, when you said you were 40, I was like, yeah. If you were selling something in there that was making a 40 year old look like that, yeah, I'd you would have had a purchase. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're going to take the rest Maybe, of the weekend off. to me, man. <laughs> Everyone's fighting over Tina X now. Oh, and, we're all, and we're all losing to we're all losing to a guy she has never met. Hey, Diggs. <laughs> so we're talking about the magazine guy with Tina X. And Walt, you say you've, he's been here since you were about 10 years old. Yeah, I, yeah I've become, it's probably since 1978. It was the first time I've been to Collingswood. And the magazine guy was there before. There was a big fire here. I don't know if you know that, Tina. Do you know that? And then they rebuilt Collingswood, and, he, and the magazine man came back. So he's got to have, like, the longest tenure here, I would imagine. But I know. Asking you that question is not really a question you would answer, though, right? Do you know magazine guy? It's like, well, he stands fucking five feet away from me, so kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to comment on how dumb Walter's question was? <laughs> I forgot that you have, you said that in public. I did. I said other it, people. That I said I, it during a professional. You tried interview. to make me look stupid in front of Teen X. Mm-hmm. And I, at least I had to. I didn't do it in front of Teen X when I said that your question was stupid. Right. You did it to the fucking. What did we hear? <laughs> Forty, fifty thousand people. <laughs> <laughs> You'd rather reserve I it for them. I forgot though that you that you said that though. Uh, me too. Up until wow. this point. Wow. <laughs> and I apologize. And I and I apologize for nothing then. Uh-huh. Well, no, no, no. I'll apologize to you. Nah. No, I want to keep your apology. I'm not, I'm not letting you rescind it. Not at this point. Jesus. Not a big deal. It was a stupid question. I feel like the both of you could go fuck yourselves because uh, in this quote-unquote professional interview, you were like, oh, get over here. This guy over here. <laughs> so, I'm over here now. Yeah, so screw the both of you guys. Fuck you right. Dina, you're from New York too, huh? Oh! <laughs> that's, not, that's not professional. <laughs> That's not professional. You think he's a nice guy? Or he would do he's that? a nice guy. I okay. don't know if he'll do your But you said he don't should. ask him the wrong question. What, what question is that? I don't know, but I had like, this guy why? who came in here, and he was talking about magazines, and he was like, yeah, that guy's a douchebag. I was like, he's been the nicest guy to me in the whole wide world. The nicest guy to me in the whole wide world. Now, is that an overstatement? Or do you think that truly people are treating <laughs> Tina X like such dog shit that some fucking dude that she has a, a booth next to in the Collingswood auction is the nicest dude in the world to her? Because she mentioned later on she had a boyfriend. Um, I, I, this flew under my radar. The vendor across from you is the nicest guy in the world to you. Right. Treats you better than anyone. <laughs> your family, your boyfriend, even us. Odd comment. I wish I had uh, heard it. Because she has nothing good to say about her mom. No. But this fringe magazine guy that she probably <laughs> is like, oh, hey, good morning, is, uh, is her savior. Maybe we'll have to make a return trip. If the fans demand it. That's right. Or nicely. <laughs> demand it nicely. And you're more likely to get what you want. Do you ever get, like, any kind of customers who you're just, like, uh, you know, like, wacky customers? Who's I the wa- get them all the time. This really? Is who's the wackiest customer? You, can you, like, who's the guy that you tell your friends about, like, you got to hear about this guy? Like this fat guy with a boner <laughs> was trying to interview with me today? <laughs> Not wacky so much as disturbing. <laughs> but, yeah, wackiest customer. Like, is, does anything come off? Uh... I can't say she was really. Oh, she is one of my regular customers, but she was so racist because she heard me. She heard me talking in another language she was like what are you guys i was like i'm chinese eventually i answered her and she's like you cheap knees i didn't know you guys were cheap knees i was so pissed off you quickly put up a couple more american flags yeah, right. i want to staple one off your head it's like can you not be so oh, angry crazy. so was she wacky in a way that you're like she was completely unaware of herself or did she like cheap knees really isn't a word i mean she's coined it so i guess it is yeah, right. but i've never heard it before i don't know I but, she's a, but she's a paying customer so you kind of had to be like yeah you gotta take it like, yeah. I know, I understand. It reminds me of this guy, yeah. I, I, I get a deal with, with D-heads like that sometimes. You could humiliate you the base this guy to your heart's content. 
as long as you buy like five, ten dollars worth of shit. Yeah, a pinto with five, ten dollars. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I don't want. All right. Again, we're gonna say goodbye to Teen X for like the first time. We might come back. Don't don't write us off before we leave. We might come back. We might think about and it. And even when it's time to go, hang out like an extra half hour because <laughs> you never know. And that was it for Teen X and her uh, her lucky bamboo slash doily slash wig shop.